The third quarter final of Japan 2019 featured Wales against France back in the city of Oita. The previous and only time they have met at a World Cup was in the 2011 semi final, where France snuck a 9 8 victory. This time the Northern Hemisphere rivals were playing for the right to reach the semis. Could the Welsh finally get their World Cup revenge after winning 7 of 8 against Le Bleu? Or would it be France to continue their superb Rugby World Cup record and make the final four for the seventh time? France applying the pressure. Lohe wins the line-out. Girado goes in to control. In they come from the centre. Ficou comes in. Puno comes in. Girado for the line. Surely France will go over from here. Wales have delayed possession. Lohe over the ball. Vamaina. The second row forward scores for France. And more than that, it's his first ever try for his country. Here's a huge moment for Sebastien Vahamahina. Assistance from the backs. In they came. Fiku came in. Pinot came in. They got oh so close. But soon enough, it was Vahamahina who was not to be denied. Initially stopped, but that second drive that he got on, crucial. Untamak. Vakatawa goes through Navidi. Support from Untamak. Support from Dupont. Support from Charles Oliver. Two tries in a matter of three minutes. Look at France on fire. Well, we know this is how they can play the French. Did we expect it this emphatic this early? No, but when it goes to Vakarawa, you know that something's going to happen. And Tamak following up on the inside and beautiful hands, support lines, and Charles Olivon, the beneficiary of some startling French play. Ficou, held by Navidi. Girado. Now Wainwright away with Aaron Wainwright pouncing on scraps and Wales score three tries in the opening 12 minutes. Intense pressure from the Welsh defence, but look at the acceleration here. Big physical hit, the ball goes bubbling free. Look at him go. The French didn't even want to try, they saw how quickly. Wainwright set off, there was no point. Aaron Wainwright, his first try for his country. France has stolen it, Wales has stolen it back. This elusive ball, <laughs> it's very tricky to control. Wales have a scrum advantage. Jake Ball drives up. High tackle. By Vamaina. Dan Bigger came through head injury protocols to be available for this game. Lands the penalty that does bring Wales to within two points. And Tamak to Medar. Medar happy to kick that cross kick pass. Uge. Good tackle, Liam Williams. Fiku in support. Moriarty goes high with a tackle. Penalty advantage, France. Aldrit takes it on. There's a little scuffle up on the touchline. Dupont. Rabat Slimani drives on. The scuffle is over. There's a French player down on the ground, but they have the advantage. And here comes Pernod, tackled by Bigger. The support from Girado, the knock-on by Vakatawa. But we're going back to the penalty. This is going to be a nervous wait for Ross Moriarty, Eddie, because I think the first contact may have been on the neck. Direct on the chin. Yeah. It's high speed running, it's direct to the chin, so therefore yellow. It's not that dangerous. No, straight on the chin. Wales down to seven forwards at the moment. 
Loré, tackled by Wainwright, back up. Giradu again. Here comes Vakatawa. Ken Owens with the tackle. They have numbers, it seems, but France make ground the hard way. Nida. Justin Tipperick holds him up and then he goes to ground. Leave it Dupont. To Varmaina, one try to his name. And Tamak, Puno, Vakatawa. France take full advantage of Moriarty's yellow card. Virini Vakatawa scores France's third try. And it was an excellent finish. Initial foray down that blind side from the line out, stretching out the Welsh defence. And when it finally came back, after several phases, the injection of Pino and the ability to find his man in support, Vakatawa, well played at the end. They can rebuild from here, they go longer to Varmaina. Wales, first point of defence is good. Or oh, hands around Wainwright's throat, oh, and an elbow to Wainwright's face there. Dupont waits for the moment. France edge forward. We have an incident here. This will be... This could be very bad news for Sébastien Varmaina. Uh, uh, around number five, around the neck. Thank you. Keep an eye on five, France, with a scrum cap there, and now that. Right, there we got it. That's clear, that's clearly, there's, the first action is around the neck. Then you take your arm away, and deliberately, you hit him with the elbow in the head. That's a red card, a note. Sebastian Van Marina is sent off, straight red card. It's there for Tipperick. It's not easy for Wales though, Alan Wynne jones he's held off the ground. Wales need to get forwards there to support their captain. Advantage to Wales. Can they start nibbling at this French lead? The little dink. Dupont read it very well, but we will go back to the penalty. Dan Bigger lines up. The kick, and Wales take a bite out of France's lead. Wales 13, France 19. Crouch. France do put somebody into a number eight position. Six. Number seven, Charles Olivon. It's a right mess, it's gone loose. Justin Tipperick for the line. Surely Wales has must score, have scored. Ross Moriarty runs back. It was a huge scrum effort. We're going to have a review. Thomas Williams has ripped the ball out. The question being, as he ripped it out, did it go forward before being regathered by Tipperick? That's gone straight up in the air. The strip was good. The grounding looks okay. Okay, Jakob, I've got a decision for you. Yeah. It's not clear that the ball's gone forward until this is a try, so we stay, stick with the try. The try is awarded from a scrummage that finally capitulated under eight man pressure. Ross Moriarty scores the try, Dan Bigger adds the conversion, and Wales take the lead. All the Welsh players are clustered around this breakdown, nobody out wide. Eight seconds to go, one more breakdown might do it. Williams looking at the clock, we're there, the clock goes red. Dan Bigger kicks it hard. And it's the red shirts of Wales 
who will go into the semi-finals of this World Cup. But what drama we had. Look at the French faces. They have been beaten by the single point. Wales 20, France 19. I think we were, we were slow at the blocks. Um, we haven't been particularly like that. We probably continued in a, a similar vein. Now we started against Fiji, which is slightly disappointing, but uh, the character we showed to come through. Obviously, there was a, a, an advantage in the second half after the card, but you know we kept plugging away and um, came on the right side of the scoreboard. To see the Welsh fans come over is, is, is awesome, and the, uh, the red wave is getting in increasingly bigger, and uh, Dokken Vaur. Wales get out of jail in an absolute thriller as the valiant French crash out in dramatic fashion. Next up, Japan v South Africa as Alan Wynne-Jones and his team now look ahead to who they face in the semis.